Had some very interesting comments for teams that may want to draft Jones, saying this to the Akron Beacon Journal. Quote, I think there's going to have to be patience, an excellent quarterback coach that's going to have to earn his trust, a really good skill set, intellectual, very smart, wasn't necessarily very good at school. I wonder if that kind of set him back a little bit. That's one difference between pro and college. Now he doesn't have to worry about classes and going to school and all that stuff. He can focus completely on football. Stephen A., what do you make of Urban's comments? I did not like them at all. Um... And I need to, <clears throat> I want to be very careful, Skip, in how I frame this because I, I am a fan of Urban Meyer. I genuinely like him. Uh, anybody that knows anything about football cannot help but respect this man profoundly. Uh, won national championships at two different schools in Florida and Ohio State. His record of excellence speaks for himself. Uh, the way he holds individuals accountable uh, for their actions for the most part are exemplary, although there are some who would argue about things that took place at Florida and why he didn't do X, Y, and Z. I'm not one of those guys. I admire Urban Meyer. I respect him. I'm only speaking as it pertains to this specific incident, this quote involving Cardell Jones. I'm not talking about anything else uh, to, to impugn the exceptional reputation that this man has. My thing is, did you have to say that? Does this not smack of Pete Carroll talking about Mark Sanchez when Mark Sanchez decided to leave USC? Now, I'm not saying that you may be wrong, because obviously you would know. And if you want to give credence to somebody's willingness to tell the truth, so be it. But I've been taught by coaches I've covered, by executives I've covered, by owners I've covered, by executives with Fortune 500 companies and beyond that I've come to know, et cetera, that the truth doesn't always have to be spoken. A matter of fact, in telling the truth, sometimes it appears self-servant, sometimes it appears to be demeaning and excessively critical. And if you're in Urban Meyer's position, you must know that saying the things that he said about Cardell Jones can't possibly help. Wh which he, one? He, What's he wasn't in your that, craw? He wasn't that good in school? Yeah. Really? How much do those practices have to do with it? The commitment that you're asking and requiring of him to give to the sport of football, how much does that? And I'm sure, and I don't want to accuse Urban Meyer of this, but I'm just talking about in terms of how it could be received mm -hmm. by somebody who doesn't know anything about Urban Meyer. If I'm reading an article and I'm reading these quotes and I know nothing about college football and I know nothing about Urban Meyer, okay, because I certainly don't believe he had harmful intent in this regard, you're looking at Cardell Jones like he might be a bit slow. He might be a bit dumb because of uh, 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 comments like that. I mean, that comes across... In, in very much the wrong way. If I'm an NFL executive, you know what I'm taking from those quotes? I'm questioning not only Cardell's commitment to excellence, I'm questioning his intellect as it pertains to his ability or lack thereof to handle an NFL playbook and all the things that come with it. And I'm just wondering, did that need to be said? Now, if this were a quote that somebody, you know, got from someone else and they heard that, Urban Meyer said this to an NFL executive, then that's entirely different. But to literally read it and to hear that these are quotes that Urban Meyer gave publicly yep. for publication, that, 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 that rubs me the wrong way. Okay. And, and, and again, I, I'm not sure because, again, I don't know the context, I don't know all the specifics, and I certainly don't want to engage in condemnation towards Urban Meyer because I respect this man. I'm just saying, I looked at it and I found myself saying, ouch, did you have to say that about this kid? Mm. This kid won you a national championship. He didn't look, you know, ill-prepared or incapable and, or all of those things that you pointed out when he beat Wisconsin and then Alabama and then Oregon to win the national championship. Now, obviously, last year, he didn't start off great against Virginia Tech. He stunk up the joint against Northern Illinois, only completed four of nine passes and throwing two interceptions. I get all of that. But the game that you lost was the only game which was against Michigan State. You won the Fiesta Bowl. You went 12-1. and I'm like, whoa. You know, he did some good things. 
you know, to the yep. point where people like yourself and others were raving. And he, don't get me wrong, uh, Urban Meyer didn't say everything bad about the kid. He said some good things. But knowing the NFL the way that we do, we know how they're going to pick apart mm -hmm. what is said about a particular kid. And to me, this hurts Cardell Jones' stock far more than it helps it to hear those kind of words okay. being articulated from the great Urban Meyer. And I just wish that that hadn't happened. Okay. I get what you're saying and where you're going with this. But I point out that before he said he wasn't necessarily good at school, Urban on Cardale, he also called Cardale intellectual and very smart. He, I think his point was he wasn't very good at school because he didn't care about school. Now, now some NFL executives will hold that against Cardale. But, but again, I think Urban saw him as pretty deep. Intell to use the word intellectual, wow, okay? But remember, Cardale would tweet about his issues with being forced to go to class. Remember that tweet? Yeah. Okay, that was before he was the starting quarterback. Yeah, I understand. And look, that, that press conference he gave, remember we talked about it on the show, when he announced that he was going back to Ohio State for this past football season? Remember after the great run that he had, Big Ten Championship game, semifinal, final? Was that not as spectacular a quarterback run as you've ever seen in those three big games, which happened to be his first three games? Right. Okay, then he does the, the session in Cleveland where he announces, I'm going back to Ohio State when I, I know I said, no, go pro, man. Go now. So did I. Your stock's as high as it's ever going to be. So did I. And unfortunately, he went back. That incredibly talented, loaded football team struggled for whatever reason. I think he struggled because, remember, his quarterback coach, and this is another point that Urban was talking about, how the, the quarterback coach of the team he drafts is going to have to earn his trust. Okay, Tom Her Herman, it took three years, but he earned Cardale's trust. Mm -hmm. I think Cardale loved Tom Herman, and he should have. Remember what happened last year to Tom Herman? Mm -hmm. He went to University of Houston. They only went 13-1 and one with him as the head coach. And by the way, the one was at I wanna, UConn. I want to defend, oh. despite, despite my dislike for this yep. quote from Urban Meyer, I want to defend him from the perspective of I understand that there are things he may not get. I understand there are things that you may not get. Mm -hmm. So let me enlighten you about something. And I'm not trying, again, it's nothing racial here, whatever. I'm just giving a black perspective I as opposed it. to a different perspective, okay? A lot of times, black folks believe that you're looking for an excuse not to hire us. Sure. Whereas with Got other it. folks, you're looking for reasons to hire them. What Urban Meyer did was just provide several reasons not to pick Cardell Jones high in the NFL draft. He may not have knowingly did that because, mm -hmm. again, the level of sensitivity, I can't expect you to have the same sensibilities that I have because from a cultural perspective, we're just different. It's not racial. It's not anything negative or animus. It's just different. And I am telling you, when you sit there and you say stuff like, I think there's going to have to be patience an excellent quarterback coach that's going to have to earn his trust will understand what that may mean in our eyes to a lot of people that come from a different place than us. Yep. So you're going to have to be patient with us because we're not the most patient I got people it. in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, we, it's about relationships because mm -hmm. if you don't cultivate a relationship with me, then I'm not going to go all out for you. Why do I know that? Because guess what? I'm really not dedicated to school because I was dedicated to football. Even though I'm smart and I'm intellectual, it's only when I'm interested in something. But if I'm not interested in it, then not only does that intellect not come shining through, but also my work ethic becomes mm -hmm. a question mark because yep. this is what has been highlighted about me. I'm saying to you, Cardell Jones has to deal with that now because coming from Urban Meyer, yep. it means everything. And in no way... Am I accusing Urban Meyer of doing anything insidious intentionally? I respect the hell out of that man. He's a great coach. As far as I could tell, a pretty damn good man. All I'm saying is, is that I don't think he's, he foresaw how this could potentially look yep. for Cardell it Jones. Hurts stock. That's all I'm saying. I, okay. I don't mean, and he didn't, I'm not saying he had any kind of malice intent whatsoever. 
but it doesn't negate the fact that there are NFL executives that could potentially embrace it like that because, again, when it comes to us, the belief is, whether it's factual or not, mm -hmm. we would tell you that the belief is usually you're looking for an excuse not to give us mm -hmm. or meet our value yep. as opposed to other folks who don't have that concern. Okay. And now Cardell Jones has that concern. I got it. I hear everything you just said. Now, from my perspective, from the big picture on Please. what these quotes meant. Please. I think they're classic, you know, the old cliche, damning with faint praise. That's what he did. He damned with faint praise. Why did he do it? This is my take, my two cents from a distance. I believe it was classic blame deflection on the part of the head coach whose team underachieved last year without the former coordinator there. So most of the onus fell on Urban Meyer. He had to click with Cardale. He had to call the plays again. Remember Ezekiel Elliott, who we had on Friday? Mm -hmm was upset with him right after the Michigan State loss yes. at Ohio State, yes. okay? So I think he, through, between the lines, he's saying, don't blame me because Cardell's got some issues here that the NFL's going to have to deal with. That, that's how it came across to me. And I don't love that because I thought early in this process, I told you from the start, I've been on the record, I want my Cowboys to take Cardell in the second round where I would say, Thank you, God, if he's available in the second round. And now all the mocks that I read, I'm looking at fourth round, fifth round, or lower for Cardale. And I think this, this kind of view of Cardale is starting to infiltrate the psyches well, of the National Football League. And I guess what I'm saying to you is I would like to believe that Urban Meyer would not do something like you described. I would like to believe it's not necessary. You went 12-1. The season before that, what were you, like 14 and 1? You're a national champion. You've won multiple national championships at two different schools. Yeah. This is who you are. But you, you failed Ma last year. You but, came but, up but, short. But, but, but you came up short. But I wouldn't associate the word failure with Urban Meyer. Last year, the lone game they lost was to Michigan mm -hmm. State. They win that game. They're fighting Alabama again for the national championship. Yep. They're in the college football you know, you know, playoffs. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you is that, I, I mean, if you want to say failing because you failed because you lost to Michigan State, okay, and D'Antonio, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say that. I'm saying if there's ever a coach that doesn't have to be concerned, with what you brought up, he may have been concerned about. It's the him. It's the Nick Savings of the world and coaches like that. They don't have to be concerned over such things. But thing. that team they struggled. Won enough. Okay, remember, they struggled all year. Remember Northern Illinois? It, remember it, at Illinois? I'm at, just saying uh, it Indiana. happens. I'm just saying it happens. And the overall record of Urban Meyer is such is so exceptional. It's, it's rife with such excellence. I would yeah. like to believe that he wouldn't have to sit up there and point the finger at a kid to say, that was him. That wasn't me. Because he doesn't have know. to do that. He is Urban not, Meyer. No, no. He doesn't have to okay, do that. Okay, I'm not defending him on that, Ken. You I, can I, if you want, yeah, but I'm not. I, I, I got to give – he's, he's earned the benefit of the doubt yep. from something like that is what I'm saying. Okay. I can't do that to Urban Meyer. All right. I just don't like the quotes. All I know is I love Cardale Jones. I, I want to take him – high in the draft. I want him to be my Dallas Cowboy quarterback, and if, if you have to go hire the University of Houston coach to be my head coach in place of Jason Garrett to make it work, Tom Herman, I'm good with that. I wouldn't wish the Dallas Cowboys on a cockroach. Yeah, you know, <laughs> on a cockroach? That's right. That's a terrible thing. The Dallas right? Cowboys, the, 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 the fan the base, the, the fans. expectation, yeah. Yeah. the owner who's all about hype and yep. headlines, I wouldn't wish the Dallas Cowboys on anybody. He'd be mm -hmm. in the news. That's right. Anybody, unless you are established and you can't be contaminated, mm -hmm. contaminated yeah. by the Dallas Cowboys allure. I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't wish that on Cardell Jones. He doesn't need to be there. He needs to be someplace where he can learn mm. and grow as opposed to being a headline. Mm. Interesting takes there. We'll take you, Cardell. We got Meyer. you. Cardell Skip, by the way, ranked 13th amongst quarterbacks. That's according to uh, ESPN Insider right now. 13th. Not too good. All right. Up next, we switch gears to defense. He led the Tigers defense to a spot in the BCS title game. And next week, he's expected to go in the first round. Defensive end Shaq Lawson joins us next. Big time. Hey, hey. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good. Huh? What's up, big time? Good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, sir. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.